It's his fifth election and he's been in power for more than 20 years. But Yahya Jame has never faced such a serious threat. It's not so much the street protests, more the unity of the opposition parties that could take away his grip on power. Even if he's unnerved though, it's not showing as he boasts that two decades of his rule has done more for the country than anything else. You couldn't have gotten it over a million years of British colonial, colonialism in the Gambia. Jame, 55 years old, is ruthless and eccentric. He's been condemned by the United Nations, the African Union and a plethora of other institutions for repression, ordering violence against the opposition and destroying a free press. He's overcome a series of coup attempts, yet it was Jame as an army lieutenant who led a coup that succeeded back in 1994. We have no plans to stay alone. All we are here for is to set a, a just system and to put up structures that will ensure that what happened in the past 10, uh, 30 years would never happen again. No plans to stay long? Well, Jame has held on to power for more than two decades with dubious elections. At home, he puts over the image as the father of the nation and in 2007 declared he'd found a cure for HIV AIDS. He demonstrated his herbal treatments to Al Jazeera and revealed that his patients had to give up antiretroviral treatments. It wasn't possible to verify his claims of success. If I fail, I would have failed them, I would have disappointed them. And the consequences will be very drastic for me as a person. It's not fun. Coming out and treating these people is not fun. They only have their hope in me. It's a big body, morally, spiritually, and psychologically. I'm not a president that makes mis mischief in the world. To his opponents, even if he admitted to being a mischievous president, it would be a gross understatement. For anyone who may doubt the level of fear he causes in the Gambia, one statistic stands out. This tiny country of two million provides the third biggest number of people migrating to Europe, while Jame insists he's loved by all his people. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera.